All right, so a certain Dr. Mi Meng Yen, if I'm pronouncing the name correctly, uh, Li Meng Yen uh, went on to Tucker Carlson on Fox News and uh, claimed, and she's been claiming online for a while now, that the Chinese government intentionally manufactured and I'm assuming that means she's saying it, they intentionally released the novel coronavirus to cause the pandemic, presumably to uh, weaken other nations like the United States to make uh, China more powerful. And um, uh, there's a report published online this week with a variety of uh, claims in it unsubstantiated but her social media pages have been shut down or at least her twitter page according to newsweek uh since she announced that she supposedly has evidence of this being true um i don't find her credible and the reason i don't find her credible is one she's apparently affiliated with steve bannon's rule of law society it was founded by steve bannon the the man who was defrauding uh, Trump supporters who donated to another organization that he was involved with. It was supposedly raising money to build the uh, border wall. And also because she's making ridiculous claims like that the entire scientific community of the world is lying to everyone and they're all secretly working for the Chinese Communist Party, which is as stupid and ridiculous a claim as you could possibly make. Um, but all of this aside, let's say the Chinese Communist Party, which is, make no mistake about it, a fucking evil organization and a government that needs to be overthrown. But let's say they did this as a bioweapon. It did a huge amount of damage to China. It's not really a good thing for anybody. China's main trade partner was the United States before. So, I mean... It, it's incredibly bad for the Chinese economy. It wouldn't make any sense for it to be intentional. The other thing I want to point out about this is that there is a difference between man-made viruses in a laboratory that's purpose is to find cures for uh, viruses. Let's, let's remember that the MERS virus and the SARS virus were also beta coronaviruses that started in bats and then went through an intermediary animal, civet cats in the case of SARS and dromedary camels in the case of MERS and then infected humans, much as we suspect that uh, was the case with this virus potentially. And even if it did come from a lab, it doesn't mean it intentionally was created in a lab or intentionally released from a lab because let's remember that these labs were involved not with creating bioweapons, but with studying beta coronaviruses to try to find potential cures and before the viruses happened to avoid another pandemic or another epidemic like we saw with SARS and MERS. So uh, a very likely scenario with this virus um, is if it did come from a lab, a far more likely scenario than it being intentionally created as a bioweapon and intentionally released and killing enormous numbers of Chinese people and wrecking the whole world's economy, including China's economy. Uh, a much more likely scenario is that what would have happened is you have bats with coronaviruses in close proximity to other animals in the laboratory and it crossed the species barrier that way with blood or feces or urine or or other uh, bodily fluids from the bat then infecting another animal um, like a pangolin for instance I mean this or a dog a lot of dogs are used in these laboratories and a lot of bats are in these laboratories so uh, if it didn't come from a farm, it didn't come from the forest, or it didn't come from a wet market, it may have actually come from a laboratory. But that does not mean it was intentionally created, and it does not mean it was intentionally created as a bioweapon. Another possibility, let's say it did come from a lab, 
Another possibility is that the virus was actually uh, created in the sense of uh, working on viruses uh, in order to work for cures for viruses. Uh, let's not forget SARS devastated the, 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 that entire region um, uh, in the past. And this virus has been very bad for the region as well as for the entire world. Now, the other point, and this is perhaps the most important point when we're talking about someone who is potentially a member of an organization founded by Steve Bannon and who's going on Tucker Carlson and who appears to be uh, potentially a, a propaganda agent for the MAGA Trump alt-right people. And that is, okay, let's say it was a Chinese bioweapon. What, what was Donald Trump doing claiming the virus didn't exist when he knew it did? What was Donald Trump and all his supporters doing? What have they been doing all this time telling people not to wear masks? Did they want to spread a Chinese bioweapon around the U.S.? Did they want to prolong the confinements? Did they want to prolong the shutdown of businesses, the shutdown of schools, the shutdown of essential government services? Did they want to destroy the U.S. economy? Did they want to kill Americans? Are they are the are uh, are is Donald Trump, the Republican Party, the MAGA movement, the alt right? Are these people working for the Chinese Communist Party? I, I mean, I knew they were already puppets of Putin, witting wittingly or unwittingly, but are they also puppets of the Chinese Communist Party? Because if China created a bioweapon, and that bioweapon was the novel coronavirus, now let's. I don't believe that to be true, but let's say that is true. If that were true, then Trump either potentially just because he's a fucking idiot, which he is on top of being a narcissist and a sociopath, but he essentially, and, and especially his supporters, by not listening to their own scientific experts, not listening to the medical community, and, and dragging their heels and letting this virus kill 200,000 Americans and counting, uh, essentially, if, if, if it was a bioweapon, they helped China spread it all around the U.S. They're helping destroy the United States. we got to get these people out of office and, and in, in the U.S. Now, we can't vote in China and get rid of the Chinese Communist Party, but we can support the, the people of China in, in standing up to it, and the people of Hong Kong, the people of Taiwan, the people of Tibet, the, the Uyghurs, and, and all the people standing up against the, the tyranny of the Chinese Communist Party. But we can vote out this horrible, uh, bootlicking, ass-licking Republican Party that worships this sick, silver spoon, spoiled brat Donald Trump. And we need to do that. We need to not only get rid of Trump, we need to get rid of the entire Republican Party. If the U.S. continues to have a two-party system, it needs to be a different party, not the GOP. The GOP needs to be banished from American politics. And we can start by voting them out this year. Vote for uh, Democrats. And, and when there's a third-party candidate that's not a complete wingnut lunatic, and I'll say the Libertarian Party is just fucking completely wingnut, wingnut lunatics. And most of the far left parties is socialists and so on are wingnuts as well. Don't vote for those fucking people. Vote for people who have an idea of how the United States government operates, who have some respect for uh, the institutions of, of the United States, the separation of powers. They understand that legislation is written by the legislative branch. And, and they understand that judicial matters are handled by the courts, and they understand that executive matters are handled by the executive branch. They understand that we're not a dictatorship. And I'm going from subject to subject, but all these things are interrelated. And this is, this is um, not sure. Uh, I can't prove 100% at this point every detail about Dr. Yan. Maybe there's some disinformation about her. Maybe she honestly believes this is true and this organization of rule of law society is just a group that she joined because they listened to her and other people didn't. And maybe there is something to her claims. But if there is, Trump's got even more to answer for. 
All the people in Trump and Steve Bannon's circle have even more to answer for by encouraging these protests against the confinement, by encouraging people to go out and have these huge events with no masks and spread the virus around and prolong America's death and pain and economic devastation and suffering. And it's not really forgivable. And we can never forget this level of complete disregard for the safety and security of the American people. Vote all the Republicans out.